Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Great. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening. Yes. Oh, okay, good. But you can see me, right? Yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> How was your weekend? Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Good. So you How had are you? Oh, good. Great. Good. I rested. Did I did some housework in the garden? I have to, you know, mow the lawn. Toco corta la grama, right? Mow the lawn. And cut some coconut, coconuts too, <laughs> like like five cocos and the coconuts that I have. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was good. I I enjoy it. All right. Okay. Let's see. Did you go to work today? Did you go to the office? No. How was how was the traffic for those who went out? Bad Good traffic. traffic. Terrible. Bad traffic. Heavy. Bad no traffic. Heavy traffic. Uh -huh. In the Lord is how much traffic? Oh yes. And and now it, in four months near the near Pico is going to be you know it's going yeah. to be a big problem because they are building uh, i think it's going to be an overpass a, a roundabout and i don't know what else but four months four months so it's going to take a long time you know to not to 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 have you know the kind of, of good traffic okay but in this day, in this month you know imagine four months it's october november december january so christmas is going to be crazy in that area okay anyways that's that's life okay let's see um, well let me share the uh, we have in our platform I will um, play again the this video about comparatives for a little review by the end of this lesson you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives hi everyone as i told you last class we will talk about how to express preferences in english as well as to compare let's see preferences comparisons with adjectives which one do you prefer i prefer the leather one which one do you like better I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty, prettier, big, bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than small smaller than this dress is smaller than the other one 
I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. <clears throat> Look in the chat. What do you read? My car is older than yours. Okay, good. Exactly, right? So, my car, mm, 2001. Okay, your car, 2010. Okay, my car is older than yours. And you can see that we always, that we it's always... are ER plus than. Okay, we, we always use the word than. Okay, than, a smaller than. This dress is a smaller than. And in the chat, you can see my car is older than. Okay, so older than is going to be always when you, that you're going to use that word to express a comparison. And you're going to, you are going to say that your car is older than or newer than his, okay? For example, uh, you can say um, my my house is smaller than my sister's house. Okay, so then you have the reference. Okay, that my sister's house is a small, but my house is smaller. Okay, so this is the reference that we get. If I change that sentence and if I use big and I say my house is bigger than my sister's house then you say my sister's house is big okay but my house is bigger okay so then this is for example you know one uh, how you can compare two things okay using that Remember that what I told you the other day, okay? Uh, two things is on not only singular, singular. It could be plural and plural. Groups, okay? We can compare groups. We can compare countries. We can com uh, compare, uh, let's say, uh, forests. We can compare rivers, okay? For example, you can say, uh, uh, rivers, uh, let's say for example, Sal El Salvador rivers are dirtier than Guatemala's rivers. Okay, El Salvador, El Salvador's rivers are dirtier than Guatemala's rivers. Okay, the idea here is that El the rivers in El Salvador are more dirty than in Guatemala. But we don't say more dirty in English, we say dirtier, okay? I'm going to write it here in the chat. Dirtier, okay? When you say more dirty, this is dirtier. That is the correct form, okay? And then you can, you, if you, you remember, somebody told me the other day, remember that the adjectives in, in English don't have plural. No plural, no gender, okay? So you can say, the man is dirty, the woman is dirty, because they are mechanics, right? So then, uh, you, dirty is for men or for women. So no problem with the sex. You can use also the the cats. The cats are, uh, let's say, the cats are uh, uglier than dogs. Cats are uglier than dogs. This is only a sentence, okay? Don't feel don't feel offended if you like 
if you like dog and if you like cats ugly then we have here let's see more more ugly equals uglier okay got it or a uh, you can say monkeys are uglier than 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 horses okay so you can compare groups okay of things that you like or that you don't like okay if you see this uh, adjectives have like a negative connotation right okay negative connotation and that happens with the adjectives adjectives can be for negatives and negative uh, let's say aspects or meanings or they can be for also for positive things but remember that you always going to use then okay questions small smaller than this dress is a smaller than the other one I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form so you're able to compare anything you want I also want you to work with this cheap old and new okay we use cheap old and new if I say for example my my cell phone, okay, my cell phone is cheaper than my computer. Okay, uh, I can also say my, my computer is newer than my cell phone. Okay, so then you can see, for example, how you use cheaper, older, and newer. Now let me write the three words here. Cheaper, older, and newer. Okay, cheaper, older, newer. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. And that was another review. And this is what we were comparing the other day, right? Remember, we also have pretty, prettier. You can see here, for example, the how the majority, the majority of the adjectives, do you only add er. Okay, you don't need to make uh, you know a lot of uh, changes, right? For example, all, older. Okay, then we have a uh, new newer okay if you see in the chat we have cheaper only er older only er newer only er uh, there are some some rules for example what happened when you write big okay what is the what is the comparative form of big anybody knows Here. Uh-huh. How do you spell it? B I uh-huh. I G J no, G. Uh -huh. G. One G or double G? Double G. Double G. Okay. E R. Okay. Why? What is the rule? The rule is okay that you have big. Okay, let me see. Now I'm going to give you a tip. And let me check. Okay, we have, for example, consonant, vowel, consonant. 
Okay, we have big. Big, okay. Big has consonant, vowel, consonant, correct? Okay, and that's one, okay. Mono, oops, monosyllable. What is monosyllable? Only one sound, big. Consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, one sound, then you have big girl. Okay. Clean. Clean is monosyllable or not? Clean. Monosyllable. Monosyllable, right? But what is the problem with clean? Consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant. No cumple, la do, no cumple la dos reglas, right? Only one. Then in this case you have cleaner. Okay? So that's what happens, you know, when you have monosyllables and cuando se duplica la the consonant y cuando no. Okay? <laughs> Another example, for example, uh, let me see another example. Help me, help me. Oh, chip. Okay, chip. Chip is similar to clean. Consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant. So only ER. But it's monosyllable, okay? Cleaner, chip, clean, chip. Big, clean, chip one sound but this one has this okay new monosyllable okay new but this is consonant vowel and the w in english is not considered a consonant sound because sound like new like como que fuera una vocal u right so then only er these are like exceptions, right? Old. Old is monosyllable, but is vowel, consonant, consonant. Okay, then only ER. Okay, so if you want to double the last word here, it's going to be if it has these two conditions. Monosyllable and consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay? If the word, ha if, the, if the adjective has those conditions, then you double the last consonant. Okay, questions in this short. moment? Yes? In short? Short, same case. Short is one sound, but consonant, consonant, vowel, Consonant, consonant, then shorter. Okay, so it's in this group. Poor. Consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, poor. Okay, so in this case, these are the institutions that we have. Okay, any doubt or question? No, okay. There, there are more rules, okay? There are other rules, but in this moment, I guess that this is sufficient. Esta la de la Y also, right? But, uh, I think that if we see it later, then we're going to, I will continue giving you more examples, okay? Because 
I want you to remember the rules, not to give you all the information at once. Okay. Now let's see here, we have pretty. If you see the Y, disappears and then I E R. More is when they have expensive. Three syllables. Expensive. Then when you have more expensive, I then is when we use more. It's the case in que se usa el more. Right? Because you're using more expensive, more beautiful. Okay, so that that flower is beautiful. Okay, yes, but this flower is more beautiful than this one. Okay, more beautiful, more expensive, larger than. Remember, what is the adjective for lar larger? The normal adjective? Large. Large, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, large only. Okay, if you see in the chat, and then you say larger, only the R. Okay. And here we have big, look, big, bigger. These are irregular. Irregular is, la misma palabra lo dice, no, re, no regulations, right? So then good, better. Okay, we have good. Good. Better. And bad. Remember, worse. Okay. You can say, for example, uh, eh, the, the traffic was bad before the construction. Now is worse, okay? Because they are constructing, they are building, okay? Probably after the construction is going to be better again, or it's going to be better, better than now. Okay, another one is the stylish, stylish, two syllables, then you use more, okay? You don't say a style, a stylish share, no, stylish, more stylish, okay? Good, questions? Because the next, this is, this is basically the end of this one, the next one I guess is the, the midterm test. Yes, here you have the listenings. Okay, how did you, how did you do with the test? Was it good? Easy, difficult? Haven't finished yet? Remember that if you have still have some doubts, you can uh, you can take it again, right? And let me uh, let me show you something. And let me see if I can yes share with you. Okay, this is you know the exercises that I have been doing with you. Okay, in this moment I have like the homework, right? Section one, section two, section three. If you see, uh, when you help me to do the exercises, I only have 100, 100, 100, right? And then uh, I have my average in this moment is 60%, right? So I still have the, we are going to do the exercises in a section four and five, and then this will increase. I will do my, we will do probably tomorrow the midterm test. And then you will see here that it will be appear another column like this with another percentage, right? 
because in this moment it doesn't appear because I haven't done it. And after that, we had the five. In this moment, look at my my percentage. Eighteen percent. Possible of thirty, right? Because I haven't taken the midterm exam. Probably, if you see, if you see in your progress, uh, this percentage in this moment don't worry, right? Just complete. You just have to complete the homework one, two, and three, and the midterm, right? Then, and during these two weeks, we are going to complete uh, complete this one and this one, and then we're just gonna have the the final exam here. Okay, so you will you will see something similar to this. Okay, in section three. Okay, if you see here, I have 33 of 33, 34. So in the section one, we have four exercises. In the section two, four exercises. Section three, three exercises. Then if you see on, in my midterm, only zeros, because I haven't done it yet. And section four, okay, only zeros, because we haven't done it yet. Okay, so we are missing this. All right, so this is for you to have a, another idea where you can check your progress, right? And see how you are doing, okay? Uh, let me see what else here, of course. Now, who likes rap? Okay. What kind of music do you like, people? I, I like rock first. Rock, but uh, a rock. heavy metal. Uh, what kind? Because there are no, different. No, but there are different. There, there are different commercial. kinds of rock. Commercial rock. It's like pop yes. rock. Pop rock. Commercial rock. It's another one like pop rock. Yes, that's another one. Okay. Good. Spanish and English. Okay. Uh, Guns and Roses. Yes, Metallica. Uh, Metallica, okay. Okay, good. Now that's what it says. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Likes are the things that we like, okay? And dislikes are things that usually that we don't like. And if you see here, do you like rap? Okay, here's a question. Um, what is rap? Have you ever, for example, rock is, you know, like yes. expressing something. What is the meaning of rock? I mean, in, what is rock itself? It's an expression of what? Feelings. Some people consider rock violent but probably the, the heavy metal, right? Not a pop rock. Yes, but, but for me, it's the letters from the, from, of pop rock is, is not, not relax me. Okay, the lyrics, the lyrics or the music? Uh, both. Both, okay, good. All right, and because, uh -huh. for example, uh, one song of metallic is Orion, is mm -hmm. only, is only music. Okay, and there is a lot of drums. Yes. Okay, the drums and the sounds and everything. Okay, good, fine, yes. and good, good. What about you, Tati? What kind of music do you like? What is your favorite kind of music? Um, I really, I like uh, all the music. Okay, uh, good. Yeah, so rock, Engli English and Spanish. Salsa, okay. Sí. Rancheras and everything. Um, yes. <laughs> okay. Banda. Okay, good. Oh, uh -huh. All right, good. Yeah. And you sold? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. If music favorite is rock. Okay. So you are Javier's friend, you know, you, your favorite kind of music is rock. Okay, very good. So what, how do people go like this or something like that, right? <laughs> okay, good. Astrid, how about you? What kind of music do you like? Mm, my favorite music is pop. Pop? Okay. Yeah. Pop English, or, uh, English, English or Spanish? Spanish. Oh, in Spanish? Spanish. Why not English? <laughs> <laughs> Why not English? So, so. <laughs> okay, good. And what is your favorite song? Um, nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? Or group, Not go or, or, or group, or group, or singer, mm -hmm. I don't know. Group is right. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> no. All right, good. But only in Spanish, mostly. Mostly in Spanish. Yes? Okay, good. Minor, what about you? What's your music? Um, I like a little. Okay. English or Spanish? Um, I prefer it in English. English. Romantic in, on, okay. in English. Yes. Yes, I think you know that a slow music, kind of uh, romantic music in English in this moment is better for you because, you know, the, the singers speak slower, right? And then in order to practice English, right? To practice English, not to... But if you like other kinds of music, it's not a problem. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Pablo, how about you? Yeah, I like uh, heavy metal. metal. Heavy metal, um, wow. Yes. Yes. And the uh, rock symphonic. Wow, I can't believe that. Huh? I thought you were going to tell me, you know, like, I don't know, classical music. <laughs> yes, Mal Maluma likes yes. Pablo. Maluma. <laughs> no, no, nothing to do with Maluma, right? Okay, good. Thanks. And how about you, Yes. How about you, Luis? Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, uh, I like um, electronic music. Electro hey, electronic music is good. Um, classical. Mm -hmm. uh, all the... Uh, types music. Okay, good. Sometimes the rhythm, right, depends on the depends on the mood. Yes. Okay, let me see. You know what is what mood is? People, what's the meaning of mood? Look in the chat. Oops. Wait. Okay, now. That's mood. I am not in the mood. Hey, let's go to a party tonight. Wow. Animal. Uh -huh. I am not in the mood tonight. It's Monday, okay? Probably on Friday or Thursday, maybe, right? But on Monday to go to a party? I mean, you feel not, it's not, I'm not in the mood, okay? So then this is also another thing that influences, right? For example, if you want to listen to some kind of music, it depends on the mood. Okay, Jenny, mood. how about you? What is your favorite kind of music, Jenny? Musica ligera, soda estéreo. Okay, so in Sp Spanish. Good. Rock and Spanish, okay. Good. Okay, yes, that's good music. Okay, it's good nice. music. Yes, cool. Thank you. Juan. Yes. Juan, I saw one disappear. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite kind of music, man? 
Tell me, tell me. Uh, my, I like in music, listen. I, I like it, the reggae. Uh, and so music in uh, music electronic. Okay, electronic music, reggae, Bob yes, Marley. Uh, reggae, uh, Bob Marley. Uh, I wanna love you. <laughs> free to ride every day. See? Yes. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. You know, especially when you go to the beach, yes. right? Yes. Okay, very good. I live, I live rock in English. Okay, you like rock in, Eng in English too. Good. David. Yes, greetings. Um, greetings. Greetings is all yeah. music. Uh, I, yes. I do. Yes. Uh, oh wait, wait. Yes. Is 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 why is why it's in in the in, in driving in driving in wealth in some the credence. When you're driving, when you're driving, you like large, large. Uh, trip on trip uh, the trip the large mm? long trips. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you're mm -hmm. driving in long trips, you like to listen uh, to in the song the credence. Okay. It's cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. Okay, David. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I don't have a favorite, but I like music to, to dance. Uh, salsa, okay. cumbia, uh, and other music. <laughs> True. You like dancing then. Okay. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> yeah. I like. Oh. Very good. That's good. Okay, Claudia, how about you? Oh, my favorite music is gospel, and my favorite song is Charles and my um, artist, Lauren Daigo. Okay, so it's gospel music. Okay, good. Yes, gospel music. Okay, good, thank you. How about you, Carla? I like my favorite music is 80s music. I don't know how to say it. Which one? 80s. 80s. Uh -huh. Yes, 80s music. Uh -huh. 80s, 80s music. Uh -huh. 80s music. Yeah. Eng English or Spanish? English. Yes. I think, I don't know, but for me, 70s, 80s, but 80s, I think, is one of the best, um, let's say, decades for music. One of the best. There are others. Okay, very good. I like, mm -hmm. I like the soft rock. Soft rock, okay, good. That's nice. You like Cool and Again? Do you remember Cool and Again? Yeah, but I, but I don't like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you, do you like Bruno Mars now? Yeah. Okay, so it was very similar to Cool and Again. Okay, good. All right, so this is enough for you to have an idea about things that you like and then you, uh, Carla, in this moment, she said, I don't like. Okay, here's when you show also dislikes. What I like, but I don't like. Some of you said, I don't like this, I don't like that, okay? I like this. Or you say, I don't have a favorite singer, I don't have a favorite song, I don't have a favorite uh, kind of music. So these are things that probably you don't like. Now let's watch the video for more information. Pay attention uh, to the pronunciation, okay, the, also to the intonation, vocabulary, okay, and we can check it after we listen to it. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four, Do You Like Rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I 
really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like. In this <coughs> lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section 4. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Who's your favorite singer? Okay. So here we have, uh, I really like pop music, right? And the guy says, do you like rap, please? Okay, remember that rap is, uh, let's say, genre of music, a kind of music that is to, the people use it to protest. Okay, when they, there is a, something like a social problem or that they see, then they express it, right? Uh, when, they, they, when they are singing rap. So rappers are usually people who protest about some topics or issues related to the society, right? So then the guy says, do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. This is a long answer, right? Though I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. Okay, I like Eminem too. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano. No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? So what kind is, what type, what class, what genre, okay? Remember gender, gender, uh, where is the chat? I lost it. Okay, gender. Okay, this is female or male. Okay, gender. That's a gender. But when we are talking about music, okay, is like the type or kind. Well, music, books, readings, otros géneros, right? Okay, so it's different, right? It's not the same gender. In Spanish, yes, it's the, uh, it's the, same, the same word. But uh, in English, the, the word is different, okay? So then uh, you can, in this case, for example, the genre of music is rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music, okay? I really emphatic, I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. Oh, I love her. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay. Oops. her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. 
On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Okay. No problem? Teacher, I have any question. Okay, tell me the question that you have. Uh, when I, I can use type or, or kind? Oh, uh, types of music, types of letters. Most commonly we use kind, okay? A type is a synonym that sounds more formal, right? And then and kind is the most common, commonly used for communication, okay? For example, the type of music, okay? It could be a, a synonym for it, okay? Most, most commonly used kind. This is the one that you're going to use, okay? For example, the blood type. I mean, for example, then the blood type is more specific. In el tipo de sangre, for example, right? It's a blood type. I don't know what kind of blood, but it's blood type. Probably in some cases, type will be more, more specific for something that you need. And kind is more general. Okay, any other question? Uh, the pronunciation of, of gen, gen, genre? Genre. 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 Uh -huh. genre. Genre. Mm -hmm. genre. The, the other one is gender and genre. Okay, remember that always genre is for music, literary books okay for example novels science fiction those are tipos the the literature right when literature you can say classics uh, novels uh, tales fables fabulous whatever or also artistic work okay when you're talking about paints Okay, or architectonic things, right? So in that case, it's gonna use genre. Okay, so then here it says press the music, practice the music, highlight pop music, rock and roll, and baladas. What kind of music do you like? I like romantic music. I listen to any kind of music, okay? This is for example, you know, when, when you don't have a special uh, let's say kind of music, you say, I like, I listen to any kind of music, but I really like piano music. Okay. What else? This is only about music, but what other things can we express? What other things you like? Apart from Food, music. drinks. Uh -huh, exactly, right? For example, what kind of food do you like? Okay, what's your favorite kind of food on weekends? Typical food, seafood, uh, homemade food, okay? Or what else? Chinese food, Italian food, Okay, so what are the kinds of, for example, the types of kinds of food that you like? What kind of food do you like? Anybody? I like, I like seafood, mm -hmm. Italian food, Chinese okay. food, okay. Mexican food. <laughs> All right. And which ones do you don't like? I don't like, but I don't like. The Chinese food is very bad. Okay, so then uh, Manuel says, but I, I don't like, you don't like, you don't like Chinese food. Chinese food is very bad, teacher. Okay, good. So I don't you, like. You don't, exactly, right? I don't like you. Chinese <laughs> <laughs> You know, but the, the good thing about Chinese food is that they give you a lot of food, right? Guys? No, but it's delicious, it's delicious. Okay. <laughs> Then tell me things that you like and things that you don't like. For example, you can say, I like uh, soccer, but I don't like basketball. 
I like uh, Chinese food, but I don't like uh, Italian food. I like, uh, for example, I like uh, music in Spanish, but I don't like music in French. Okay, tell me two sentences, something that you like and something that you don't like. Think about anything, okay, about anything. Okay, let's see. And we're gonna start with, Ta -da -da -da. Orden alfabetico, Alejandro, okay. Alejandro, tell me something that you like, something that you don't like. Could be about anything. In general? Yes, in general. For example, I like, uh, I like money, but I don't like to work. <laughs> okay, that's me. <laughs> okay. Good to uh -huh. Alejandro, anything? I like it, but I don't like um, um, engordar. <laughs> to, get, oh, okay, to get fat. Get fat. Okay, uh, that's a good example. Thank you, Alejandro. Because remember, here Alejandro is comparing actions. Okay, things that then you can also use actions. He said, I like to eat, but I don't like to get fat. Okay, good, excellent. How about you, Astrid? Um, I like uh, Mexican food. I don't like uh, China food. Okay, I like Mexican yeah. food, but I don't like chi Chinese food. No. Okay, uh, who's next one? Let me see. Here, here, here we have. I saw Vilma here. Oh, no, yes, Vilma. Vilma. Your turn. Hello, teacher. Hello, Vilma. Tell me something that you like and something that you don't like. Um, I like um, pizza. Um, no like uh, uh, pollo campero. But I don't like pollo campero, okay? But I don't like pollo campero. Okay, the country, the country chicken. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good, perfect. Uh, let me let me see now, Eduardo. Uh, I like play basketball, but I don't like play softball. Baseball. Softball, baseball. Okay. Hey, I skip David. Okay, Musalte David. David. I like Mexican food. I don't like sushi. But I don't like sushi. Yes, it's good. Eliel? Um, I like mariscos. Yeah, seafood. I don't like, uh, see, I don't like uh, spaghetti. Okay, I like seafood, but I don't like spaghetti. Hey, but if you mix the, the spaghetti and the seafood, it's delicious. You should, you should try that one. Okay. I don't like pasta. I don't like pasta. Okay. Then we have um, Eliel, D. Eh, who's missing? Okay, Jenny. Jenny's close here. Okay. I like soccer. I don't like baseball. Okay. I like soccer, but I don't like baseball. Good. Luis. Luis Alberto. I, I like okay. tomatoes, but I don't like onions. I like tomatoes, but I don't like onions. Okay, very good. Tatiana. Um, I like um, Mexican food, but I don't like berenjena. <laughs> uh, how do you say? Anybody knows how to say berenjena in English? No. Okay, <laughs> let me write it. I write it. Eggplant. 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 Okay. I don't like. Come on, Tatiana, Berenjena, the eggplant is delicious. 
asadita, you know, if you grill it, it's delicious. No. Or if you have a lasagna. No. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, uh, Carla. I like listening to music, but I don't like uh, uh, Mexican music. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, you compare an action with a kind of music. Very nice. Nice combination, Manuel. I like typical food, but I don't like uh, pizza. Very good. Okay. Manuel Alberto. I like listen to rock, but I don't like listen to perreo, reggaeton, bachata. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Santos. I like seafood. I no like uh, pollo. Pollo, chicken. But I don't like chicken, okay? <laughs> I like seafood, but I don't like chicken. Okay, very good. Claudia. I like the vegetables, but I don't like the beans. Okay, very good. Well, you know, vegetables are very healthy. Minor. I like basketball, uh, but I don't like uh, uh, volleyball. Very good, nice. Juan Navas. I like uh, I like soccer. Play game. Mm -hmm. uh, I I want to the. Peruan food, but uh, you like to play soccer, uh huh? But yes, uh, yes, uh, I I want to. Uh, I don't like the volleyball. Okay, so you like to play uh, soccer, uh, but no volleyball. I, I want. Okay, uh, yes, uh, I I want to now the parent food. You want to prepare food? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you like to prepare uh, food? I, I like I, I I like fish. I like fish food. Ah, you like you like seafood. Fish, uh, shrimps. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Juan. Um, Pablo? Yes, I, I don't like meat. <laughs> you don't like meat? Okay. Meat is delicious yes. one. Meat is delicious. Uh, no. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Good. No, it's okay. No problem. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Pablo? I like to drive a sport car. I don't like motorcycle okay so you like ferraris only Lambor <laughs> Lam lamborghinis okay, okay. No, no. all right good burlese de la, de la gente pobre <laughs> <laughs> i just have a toyota but no, it's okay <laughs> sobreviviré <laughs> it's okay no it's a joke it's a joke Pablo. okay i'm just kidding i'm just kidding okay people so then um uh, well uh, that's, if you see now, for example, uh, we have a lot of uh, questions with things that you like, you don't like. This is one way to practice vocabulary, to remember things, to listen to others' ideas. And now you can see that you can compare actions. You can compare anything, right, that you like or you don't like. Or you can express what you like or you don't like in many different ways. And for tomorrow we have, uh, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do, does, along with WH questions. Okay? Then uh, tomorrow we're gonna pla practice with uh, do you, does she, does he, okay? And then we're going to have this kind of practice using object pronouns. 
me, you, him, her, it, us, and them after the verbs. Okay? So this is something that I will, I will explain tomorrow. For example, what kind of music do you like? I like rock. Uh, for example, I like it. When we say it, sometimes it's when we substitute the object for now. Okay, everyone? So, I didn't feel the time. The time went very fast today. Well, it's time to go. Uh, I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Study, and then tomorrow we're gonna practice with do and does, and a lot of vocabulary, okay? So have a very good night, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.